In this video, we're going to solve for density, mass, and volume. And this first problem will be solving for density. We look at the first problem, it says calculate the density in kilograms per gallon of a solid that is 4 pounds with a volume of 843 cubic centimeters. Now we write down our given from the problem. Our mass is 4 pounds. Our density we do not know, but the, the units are kilograms per gallon. And the volume is 843 cubic centimeters. Now when going about solving for density, we'll need to go with the given, and the given is the mass and the volume. So we will put mass over volume, we know that from our density equation, D equals M over V. So we'll go with our mass, which is 4 pounds, over our volume, which is 843 cubic centimeters. And in this problem, we see we have to get from pounds to kilograms for our mass, and in volume, cubic centimeters to gallons. So we're going to have to do a double conversion. We'll start with the four pounds first. We'll bring down our pounds, and we'll go to kilograms. One kilogram is equivalent to 2.2 .2 pounds. Our pounds cancel, and now we're at kilograms, so we're good there. We have our mass. Now we need to convert cubic centimeters to gallons. So we know one cubic centimeter is equal to one milliliter. Bring up our milliliters. We know 1,000 milliliters is in one liter. Bring up our liter, and we need to go to gallons. There's 3.786 liters in one gallon. Our centimeters cubed cancel, milliliters cancel, liters cancel. We're left with kilograms per gallon. So now we're at the proper units. We can go ahead and do our math. You will wind up with an answer of 8.1656 kilograms per gallon. But we know there's only one significant figure in the problem. And that was our four pounds. So the answer will be rounded to eight kilograms per gallon. Okay, the next problem we'll do is a problem solving for mass. This problem states the density of an object is 0.98 pounds per gallon. How many grams would 234 milliliters weigh? We want to take out the given in the problem. The given mass is an unknown amount of grams. That's what we're solving for. The given density in the problem is 0 0.98 pounds per gallon. And the volume in the problem is 234 milliliters. Now what we'll do is we'll take, when you're solving for mass or volume, you take the one that is given and put it over one, and we'll use that to transition through density to get to the unknown. So the given in this problem out of the mass and the volume is the volume. So we'll put 234 milliliters over one. And then we have to decide how are we going to get to mass. The way we do it is we find out we're starting with a volume, so since we have to transition through density, we have to find out what the volume is in density. The volume in density is gallons, so we're at milliliters, and we need to go to gallons. So the way to go about this is take milliliters, convert them to liters, 1,000 milliliters in one liter, and take liters and go to gallons. For every one gallon, there's 3.786 liters. <clears throat> and now we're at gallons. Milliliters cancel, liters cancel. We're left with gallons. And this is where we can insert our dens density to be able to cancel out the volumes and, tr and start working towards our mass. 
So we would insert density, 0 0.98 pounds per gallon. Gallons cancel, and now we're left with pounds. Now, since pounds is a mass and grams is a mass, we can transfer, or transition rather, over to grams. So we start with 0.98 pounds per gallon, uh, 0.98 pounds. And we go from pounds to grams, which is 454 grams in one pound. And we do the math. You end up with 27.499 grams. Since there's only two significant figures in the problem, our answer is 27 grams. Okay, and our final problem will be solving for volume. And in this problem, it states how many cubic centimeters are needed to have a mass of 0 0.0004 kilograms if the density is 2.2 ounces per quart. Okay, this is going to work just like the mass problem did. We'll work through density to get, uh, we work through density from volume, work through density to get to mass. This time we'll work from mass through density to get to volume. So we'll take our given. We have 0 0.0004 kilograms for our mass. Our density is 2.2 ounces per quart and our uh, volume is an unknown amount of cubic centimeters. The way we'll set this problem up is you take the mass because that's the given 0 0.0004 kilograms and put it over one then we'll transition kilograms two ounces because we got to get from mass to mass in order to transition through density. So with kilograms we need to get to ounces. The way to go about doing that is go from kilograms to pounds and we know there is one kilogram for every 2.2 pounds. Then we go from pounds to ounces. There is one pound for every 16 ounces and here we are. We're at ounces. So that's where we stop and insert our density. Now you'll see our density is written in such a nature that the ounces are on top of the quarts. And in this problem, doing uh, dimensional analysis, we need ounces to be on the bottom to cancel out. That is not a problem to put 2.2 ounces per one quart for density. It's an interchangeable ratio that is equal. 2.2 ounces per quart is the same thing as saying for every one quart, there's 2.2 ounces. So you can transition that way. With volume, when you're going from mass to volume, every time you will flip the density over doing dimensional analysis. <clears throat> now we got to get kilograms canceled, pounds canceled, ounces canceled. We're at quarts, and we need to get from quarts to cubic centimeters. So the way we go about doing that, I'm going to run out of room, so I'll bring it down. Quartz are on top over here, so quartz will be on the bottom down here. So we'll go from quartz to liters. And there is 1.06 quartz for every one liter. And then we have to go from liters to cubic centimeters. If you recall, a cubic centimeter is the same thing as a milliliter. So there is 1,000 cubic centimeters in one liter. And now we've gone from quartz to cubic centimeters. We do our calculations and you come up with 6.0377 cubic centimeters. If we use our significant figures for the problem, we have two significant figures. So our answer would be 6.0 centimeters cubed.